October is a great time to visit Las Vegas. Weather is perfect, crowds have lessened, many resort pools remain open, and Halloween haunted festivities ramp up throughout the month. MGM and Caesars hit with class action lawsuits over Las Vegas cyber attacks. A potential shutdown threatens the Strip. Formula One continues to tear up Las Vegas. U2 kicks off the MSG sphere, all while more legendary performers and exciting new casinos are coming to Las Vegas. There's a lot to talk about during this Las Vegas update for October. 2023. Let's get into it. Kicking things off, five class action lawsuits have been filed against MGM Resorts and Caesars Entertainment, alleging that the companies failed to protect the personal information of loyalty program customers during recent cyber attacks. The lawsuits claim that the companies did not comply with industry standards and Federal Trade Commission guidelines, leaving customers vulnerable to identity theft. Despite their different approaches to the attacks, both companies are facing legal action. MGM's computer systems are now operating normally, while Caesars reportedly paid a multi-million dollar ransom to free its systems. Mm. Will a union strike and shut down the strip? Over 40,000 members of the Culinary and Bartenders Union in Las Vegas have voted with an overwhelming majority of 95% in favor of authorizing a strike against the city's casinos. Now, the unions have been in negotiations with the casinos since April, seeking improved pay benefits and working conditions. While the strike vote is symbolic, it grants union leaders the power to call for a walkout if necessary. The last strike vote in 2018 was resolved before any labor action took place, but union officials remain cautious, stating that the two sides are still far apart. So what could this strike mean? Well, a strike could potentially cripple Las Vegas and cost the resort casino operators millions. If a strike does occur, it'll start at MGM Resorts International, Caesars Entertainment, and Wynn Resorts, where contracts for about 40,000 union members have already expired. U2 kicks off Las Vegas MSG Sphere residency. U2 is already warming up to Las Vegas with a secret pop-up they just recently had had on Main Street in front of Plaza downtown. Amazing. Their residency opened on September 29th at the MSG Sphere and will run through December 16th. Following U2, rumors suggest that Harry Styles and popular jam band Fish might be the next Sphere residents. British percussionist and music director Paulie Lovejoy will be the opening act for all 25 U2 shows at the Sphere. Las Vegas Strip Casinos ditch the free parking, y'all. With big events drawing crowds, Las Vegas Strip Casinos more and more are ending free parking. Parking. This unpopular move is being adopted by nearly every casino on the Strip, leaving visitors with little leverage. Formula One silences the Mirage Volcano and bye-bye Bellagio trees. The Mirage's famous volcano has been temporarily shut down to make way for F1 grandstand construction. Those gorgeous trees along the volcano and the Strip will also be cut down to ensure unobstructed views of the race. The volcano is set to resume its fiery eruption on December 8th. Brandon Johnson, a former manager at Aria, has been arrested on suspicion of stealing over $776,000 from the resort. The funds were meant for guests entitled to refunds. Johnson's lavish spending habits tipped off a co-worker, leading to his arrest. Fontaine Blue, Las Vegas' newest luxury resort is set to open its doors on December 13th. With 36 restaurants and bars, Fontaine Blue is promising a diverse culinary experience, from high-end steakhouses to celebrity chef-driven concepts. The resort also features, now get this, a 42-foot-high casino. We can't wait to see that. The Boring Company continues to dig. Yes, The Boring Company is reportedly planning a $2.4 million tunnel and station at the Strat in Las Vegas. The project is set to be one of the next loop lines to come on board following the completion of the second tunnels connecting the convention center with Resorts World, Encore, and Westgate. It's one of my favorite time of years. Get ready for Halloween in Las Vegas. Halloween in Las Vegas is a time for spooky fun and wild parties. There are many events to choose from, including club nights with top DJs, haunted attractions, and family-friendly activities. If you're looking for nights of reverie, check out the Sin City Halloween Ball at Virgin or the Masquerade Halloween Party at Legacy Club. Be sure to join our incredible Facebook group for the love of Las Vegas. There's a lot of people in that group sharing their pictures, photos, videos, answering questions. It's basically your one-stop shop to Vegas. We'll leave a link in the description box below. Hey, we're getting super close to our 150,000 
1,000 subscriber goal, you guys. So if you haven't done so, please take a second, hit that subscribe button so you keep getting some of the best Las Vegas content out there. The pop icon Christina Aguilera is set to bring her powerhouse vocals and hit songs to Las Vegas for the New Year's Eve show at Voltaire at the Venetian. Now, despite not having recent hits, Aguilera's fan base and song books are expected to draw in crowds, much like other successful Las Vegas residencies. Pop princess Kylie Minogue is set to open Voltaire at the Venetian with a series of sold out shows. The Australian singer has signed on for 20 shows, paving the way for Christina Aguilera's New Year's Eve performance. Wait, does someone say Lady Gaga might be a permanent residency here in Vegas? Yep, pop superstar Lady Gaga has hinted at a permanent residency at Dolby Live at the Park MGM during her recent performance. The singer expressed her desire for her residency to last forever, shocking both her band and the audience. However, no official confirmation has been made by MGM yet. The eight-time Grammy Award-winning R&B singer Usher has been announced as the headliner for the Super Bowl halftime show. The Las Vegas resident who has been performing a residency in the city for the past three years will take the stage at Allegiant Stadium on February 11th. The King of Country returns to Vegas. Mark your calendars. Country music legend George Strait is set to perform at Allegiant Stadium on December 7th, 2024 during the National Finals Rodeo. Now this performance is part of a nine-date stadium tour kicking off in Indianapolis on May 4th. There's a fire. Yep, after wrapping up her second residency at the Coliseum at Caesars, Adele is reportedly in talks for a third round of shows next year. Caesars Entertainment is eager to sign her for another series of gigs and is offering a deal closer to $1.2 million per night. Adele certainly appreciates the stability of residencies, allowing her to spend more time with her 10-year-old son, Angela. Why stop now? Barry Manilow is set to extend his record-breaking residency at the Westgate by adding 45 new dates, running from February through December 2024. Legendary rock musician Carlos Santana has announced an extension of his residency at the House of Blues at MGM Resort International, MGM's Mandalay Bay. The An Intimate Evening with Santana residency will now include 15 additional dates in 2024. Magician and illusionist David Blaine is set to return to the stage with a new 12-show residency at the Encore Theater at Wynn Las Vegas. The residency titled Impossible will begin on New Year's Eve weekend. Iconic magic duo Penn and Teller have extended their residency at the Rio Hotel Casino until 2026. The extension comes as Dreamscape, the property's new owner, plans a major renovation of the resort. Ooh, Junior's Cheesecake, renowned for its mouth-watering desserts, is opening its first location beyond the East Coast at Resorts World. With a full-service deli and New York-style diner, Junior's will surely become a go-to spot for cheesecake lovers and those craving some classic comfort food. After a hiatus, the critically acclaimed musical Jersey Boys is making its triumphant return to Las Vegas. The show will premiere at the Orleans on December 21st in the intimate 850-seat showroom. With the state-of-the-art sound system and not a bad seat in the house, this is a show you won't want to miss. Tickets start at $69.95 and are now on sale. A new name for the MSG Sphere? Sphere Entertainment is reportedly seeking $40 million for the naming rights to its new MSG Sphere. The company has reportedly partnered with Oakview Group to sell the rights, sponsorships, and other corporate infusions. The long-awaited All Night Arena project on the North Strip is facing another deadline for its land use permit. The CEO, Jackie Robinson, insists that work is progressing and the finances are in place, but the county will need to extend the permit for the project to move forward. The ambitious $5 billion property is set to feature a retractable roof arena, hotel towers, convention center, movie theater, and a grocery store. Mark your calendars for November 1st. The highly anticipated opening of the Peter Luger Steakhouse at Caesars Palace will take place on November 1st. And the best part, unlike its other locations, the Las Vegas Luger will accept credit cards, making it even more convenient for diners. Treasure Island has opened a new seafood restaurant and bar called the Yacht Club. The nautical-themed eatery offers a variety of fresh seafood dishes, including pan roast with scallops, shrimps, mussels, and lobsters, as well as clam bake with sausage and lobster. Mm. Appetizers like little neck clams, ceviche, and crab cakes are also available, along with classic dishes like fish and chips and rainbow trout. All right, now I'm talking to you thrill seekers. If you're looking for a unique Vegas experience, Skydive the Strip After Sunset is offering nighttime tandem jumps over the city. This is the world's first and only skydiving experience authorized to mark tandem skydiving after dark. Packages start at $30,000 with only 100 reservations accepted per year. Cha-ching! Hey, 
Hey, Dave and I want to quickly say thank you so much for all the tremendous support you've shown our channel over the years. We are inches away from our 150,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you all for the support. If you haven't done so, please take a second, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you keep getting some of the best Las Vegas content out there. Thanks, y'all.